what's up visionaries welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome and today let's do another reaction to rupaul's drag race down under season three episode number seven the season is winding down we now have our top four queens so we have we're going to find out who is going to go into the top three queens for next episode but first you guys know in each and every video i pick a comment from last video and the comment that i chose today was I'm so sad they didn't see it for Floor. She's been my fave since I watched her on Kita and Anita's show a couple of years ago. I think she should have won this week by far. They're playing with her at this point. <laughs> Thank you so much for that comment, babe. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below and your comment might be chosen in the next video. And if you guys have been loving my content, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and make sure you guys share this video on all your social media platforms and all of my social medias, my website, my Patreon, my PO box and the discord are going to be located in the description. So make sure you check that out as well. And without further ado, you guys, let's get ready to react to episode number seven. My darlings, you're all bitches. Oh, but I love Facts. you always. I feel awful because I've just taken Bumper's dream away from her. Well, girl, that's what the competition does, honey. You got to find out who's going to be the queen of the season. Well, to have won with this is beyond words. You definitely didn't deserve to win last episode. I think it's going to be the top three next week. I've got two wins now. Holly. Top three record. to me, Hollywood, well, Floor, and Miss oh, Isis. Top bottom. three. I feel like if you don't have a win under your belt, oh, what are you doing here, darling? I really need Very that. true. Definitely Isis and definitely Floor. Uh, oh. Fuck my drag, right? Damn. Damn. Call her out, girl. Funny and friendly. Then the runway comes and it's like... Hmm. She has it. The character comes on. Years. But at the same time, it's like what you're... What the categories are calling for is what she brings. So, like, are you going to hold that against her? Please give a warm drag race welcome to some furry friends of mine. Oh, the furry friends. You want to see the furry friends, Ace? Yes, your friends from across the pond. Come on. Say hello to my furry little baby. Hi, furry friends. Oh, kisses because you love them? Yes. I love you so much. Oh. Girl, the girls are getting frisky over there. A lot of Kai Kai over there. So this week's Maxi Challenge is the makeover. I've had Winston now for six years. And I think Winston has really kind of like saved my life. Like there have been yes. times where I've Because Ace, you so saved my life, baby. My best friend Lou um, died by suicide six weeks ago. Oh, I'm so, so sorry like to hear really that. I just have to make sure that I inject a little bit of floor on her because I like Floor's matchup. Like that's cute. Oh, that's awesome. Him. The beautiful woman that I want him to be doesn't have a mustache. I'm happy to do it for you. Oh, thank God, getting rid of the mustache. You're not asking questions. Her face. She has to paint someone else's face. Oh, Gabriella. Yeah, Gabriella Lebucci. You're gonna have to show out your coochie. I brought phone wigs with me because they can give a very camp character and it's what I do. Down best. under loves a foam wig, don't they? I've been missing my dogs so much. I, I wouldn't know what to do, honey, you. being gone away from you for so long. Last week you said you were 28, but your paperwork says you're 34. Ooh. Oh. Shay, honey, I call her out. Who wrote 34 on your paperwork? I don't know who wrote 34. <laughs> Stick to it, baby. Stick to the lie. Decline, decline, decline. Ooh, these dogs are so cute. I cannot even. She was always so welcoming and like just so loving to everyone. And she unfortunately was diagnosed with cancer. Not what Rue said about being vulnerable. There's actually so much strength in that. It's scary. It is so much strength in that. I don't feel sexy. I don't feel desirable. I often look at myself in the mirror and just see a sack of bones and I actually fucking hate that. I can't put weight on. You're sexy, Miss Gabriella. Everyone's version of sexy is completely and different. That's not what I want to be. I thought I did love myself. I think it was just the personality that I was loving, not the sack of skin that I'm stuck with. We'll definitely feel like that tonight. I'll make sure. Honestly, make sure that personality will live yeah. with you forever. Ultimately, I just Your looks won't. Yeah. And I 
have to remind myself that I'm on the same level as these girls and I'm worthy Yeah, of you have to know it, baby. You have to know it. It starts with you. You have to know that you are in there to win this. He was able to open my, my eyes and my, you know, like myself to accept different gender identities. I was mm. able to meet people like from the different colors of the, the rainbow community yeah. which is amazing that's interesting because, you know like, what for me it was like the past probably here. two I mean, years I, drag, so I thought like, how I it would be to date to someone that is yeah. that is trans a trans yeah. man like, specifically I yes so he snatched miss thing rue you look really good very simple yet effective Mm, story of my life. Oh, look at the little costume the doggy has. Okay, it's boho, boho chic. I do like it. It's it looks like it doesn't look like a family thing. It looks like they're more so girlfriends together. You know? Yes, Miss Isis, you look fucking amazing with your partner. And look at the little baby. It's so good. Miss Mama looks beautiful. My fucking God. Oh my God. She looks stunning. Oh my God. They both look amazing. Look at them. They're like a natural on stage. Mama said, girl, get into me. Oh, this was such a good family resemblance. Oh my God. And the little trick. Oh, over. Oh. Yes, burrito. You better work it out, baby. Honestly, this is cute. It gives you the yin and yang. Oh, look at the little dress the burrito has. It's so cute. It's cute. I love their ensembles. Different colors, same silhouettes. Very cute. Oh my god, that is so cute. Good job, Miss Floor. And she's having fun on stage, which is most, most important. She doesn't look nervous, which is great. Girl, you just gave her a little handkerchief as you gave the dog bitch the handkerchief. Oh, I see what she was doing, the Flintstones-esque thing. But again, the Flintstones-esque wasn't a family. They were neighbors and friends. And this what is giving me. Those are girlfriends. That was a cute little trick with the dog. And look at the dog is off the leash. That's impressive. It's not family resemblance. It's besties hanging out together. Oh, the dog said did so good. Honestly, the dog was the star of the show. Let's be real. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. Bottom two is Miss Gabriella and Miss Hollywood, surprisingly. Yeah, the winner of this episode is clearly Miss Isis. Right. I mean, even if Hollywood is in the bottom, which I think she should be compared to the competition, but I think Hollywood got this in the bag with the lip sync at least. No, Isis, you won this one rightfully this time. Such wonderful people. Mm. Um, so thank you so much for. She's just know, so warm and so nice and so <laughs> kind. So well. yeah. I wish more people were like that in the world. Very, very I've made some decisions. Isis Avis Loren. Winner. This congratulations. You are both the winners. Of oh this week's my show. God! Yay! Floor, you got it. I'm really, really in for Floor, but they both deserved it. But truly, Isis deserved it by herself. I'm be honest, unbiased. You guys know how I am. But it's good to see Floor get another win. They both killed it. Oh, let's go! It's the grand finale next week. Top three. Here we go, ladies. And obviously, Hollywood is going to win this lip sync. I mean, compared to Miss Gabriella to me. Well, I shouldn't say that, right? So soon. Because what is the song exactly? Hollywood. There's no way that Gabriella Labucci could beat me in a lip sync. That's what we think. Period. We don't know though. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna make it to the end and I'm gonna beat your ass. That's how you're what supposed you to think, Miss Gabriella. Miss Gabriella Labucci. Okay, Miss Hollywood, you better get out of the fucking big old cover up. Come on, Miss Gabriella Labucci girl, you better give us some moves. Okay, Miss Gabriella girl, it seems like you're holding your own right now, girl. Bitch! 
I don't really, that, that little dip that Hollywood did was kind of not on, yeah, it wasn't right to me. But bitch, Miss Gabriella, you are turning it out for me. She's, Miss Hollywood is going for it too, bitch, no shade, she's serving it, but honestly, Miss Gabriella is shutting it down. Come on, Miss Gabriella. And Hollywood, come on, work out, girl. The girls are fighting for this last position. Yeah! <laughs> the girls are going in! Wow, I'm kind of low-key shocked. Dare I say that fucking Gabriella slayed Hollywood with this lip sync? Wow, I made my decision. Oh my god. Gabriella Labucci. Shante, you stay. But it was so deserved. Are they gonna keep both of the queens? I hope they don't keep both of the queens. You know I don't like double saves. Gabriella, you turned that fuck out. You turned that shit out. You deserve that. You guys know I'm not biased and shit. You do you that lip sync you did that. You gonna keep her? <gasps> They're gonna get rid of her. See you in Hollywood. It was just so it's so like Hollywood yet, I mean, they could be right with your personality. It's just, it's just one yeah, thing that you've shown us. I expected to be in that top three. I think everyone else expected me to be in that I top expected three you, well. but honestly, but you didn't deserve that show. for that lip sync and that performance on this episode. No shade. I have to be real. This is the brand new start of your career. My top three queens. Gagged. Bitch, that gagged me. I didn't think that was going to happen. Who are you guys rooting for? Let me know down in the comments, you guys. This is the season finale next week. Crazy. It went by like this. Okay, visionaries, that is the end of my reaction to RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. Woo! Okay, we have our top three queens now. So let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below. Did you guys agree with the winning queen? Did you guys agree with the bottom two queens? And did you guys agree with the queen that went home and all the drama and everything in between? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Whether you guys agree with me or not, you guys know I love to hear it. And please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and make sure you guys share this video on all of your social media platforms because it truly does help me out a lot. And like always, visionaries, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it, as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Into the next one. Bye.